What's up guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be continuing on with the interior design tutorials and for this project I will be modeling a home office in Revit. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And if you want to check out more interior design tutorials check out the links in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get started. Here I am in Revit and I'm just going to be using the architectural template for this project. And first let's set the units to centimeters because this is interior design, so that's the right unit to choose. Now I'm just going to type in WA for wall and then I'm just going to select this wall and then let's do this 300 millimeter wall. And I'm just going to create a rectangle like this over here and then let me just zoom in a bit and see so this should be at 350 let's do it it's just a small compact office and yeah let's leave it kinda like this okay so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a floor over here let me just bump this to the outside go finish okay and for this floor let's immediately set the material and let's go here and let's find some carpet that goes in an office environment or a home office environment so just go fabric and here I found this one I like this carpet so that's the one that I'm going to use oops I didn't set it so again carpet fabric yeah there we go you need to load it in is this the one yeah so load it in go apply okay so that's set up to carpet go OK apply OK so now let's set the walls so I'm just going to set one wall to and I'm just going to go here to choose something white and the what I usually like to use is this gypsum wall board so that's the one that I'm going to use for this just to have some nice white walls and let me select all of these walls and instead of making them unconnected let's connect them to level 2 okay and let's add the ceiling also so just go ceiling and we can leave it at automatic ceiling let's just set the height to I don't know something like 3 meters so or 300 centimeters and place it like that and now I'm just going to delete this wall because I don't need it I want to be able to kinda create a scene over here and be able to see through this wall and I'm just going to add some windows on this side because for office why not we need to have some windows and usually for office design it's nice to have windows on the opposite side of the hand that you're writing with so basically if you're sitting here looking at this wall and you're right-handed you want the light to come in from the left so it would illuminate what you're writing or drawing or whatever okay so that's a little tip on the interior design okay so let's continue on and now let me just go here and now let's start modeling the, the whole thing so I just need to add a desk some shelves and all of that and that all of that will be modeled as an in-place family so I'm just going to go here to component model in place and I'm just going to choose furniture over here because this is kind of a furniture and let's go into level 1 and let's place a reference plane over here kind of like this on at 65 yeah let's do it at 65 and let's call this desk well it's more than desk but let's just leave it at that okay so now let's go into south elevation so we can see everything and now we can start playing around so let's go to create and choose extrusion pick a plane by name and choose desk so that's the one we created so first I'm just going to create a rectangle over here and yeah let's make it like this and here let's do it at 100 centimeters and this offset over here let's do it at 10 yeah at 10 so this will be kind of a a little shelf that closes up so we can leave some stuff there and let's do it like a line over here and let's do a line over here kinda like that and now let's choose offset and oops offset and here for offset let's choose one and let's offset this by one centimeter this as well and now you just use SL or split element and you just split all of these lines over here 
and now I'm just going to trim and extend all of this. So go trim and extend, trim and extend, trim and extend, and yeah, and you finish it off over here. Okay, and for the extrusion end, let's just type in something like 3 centimeters, go finish, and let's go into level 1, and as you can see, it offset to this side, and I actually want it inverse, so I'm just going to type in minus 3, so it's going sticking out this way. Okay, so once I have this, let's go back into south elevation, and now let's continue on, so let's go create, extrusion, and pick a plane, yeah, desk, okay, and now I'm just going to place a line like this, kind of like that, as a parcel shelf, so let's make this at, yeah, let's do it at 3 centimeters, and then over here I just need another, like, hanging shelf, that's kind of like that, and yeah, let's let it be at 130, let's do this at 80 centimeters, okay, so make that, and let's do one down here, and the height like this should be at, yeah, let's do it at 65, and for here this offset from floor, let's see, yeah, let's do the same thing as here, and let's just move it closer to this wall. Okay, I like it here, so let's just leave it at that, go finish, go into level 1, and let's just extend it all the way back. So we have this kind of partition between this part and this part, and here we have some other shelves over here. So now let's go back into south elevation and let's add some partitions over here for the drawers or something like that. So go create, void, void extrusion and let's use pick a plane and pick this plane and then you just use this rectangle tool just to make these little slots over here and let's make them at one centimeter. Yeah, kind of like that and go copy, place one here and let's bring this up a bit, okay, so we have that, and let's just copy this upward, so we need one over here, and let's just extend it to the other side, okay, and for this extrusion end, let's just do two centimeters, that's enough, just to have some little depth, to see kind of separation in this, so if I go into 3D, and you zoom in, you can see we have that little separation, okay, let's do the desk, so go back into south elevation, go create, and let's do extrusion, and pick a plane by name, and pick a desk, and now let's go something like this, so desk is kind of entering this here shelf, so that's nice, and let's see, let's set this up at something like 75, and then for the thickness of the desk, let's do 4 or 5 centimeters perhaps, Okay, so we have that, and then let's go edit extrusion again, and let's do a little shelf over here, kind of like that. Let's do one over here that's kind of closing everything up, kind of like that. Maybe extend it a bit, so maybe do it at, yeah, at 14. This should be a lot thinner. Oops, don't need this. Okay, so let's place this at, I don't know, something like 3 centimeters. And let's just bring it up a bit, and let's just copy it. So go CO for copy, and copy it over here. And let's repeat that. So you kind of repeat this, these little shelves over here. Extend them all the way up. Maybe we don't need this top one, it's a bit too much. Okay, so once this is finished, you just go finish, go into level 1, and again extend it all the way to the back. So we have that, and if we go here, yeah, this looks real nice. Okay, let's add some more shelves, so go to south, and let's go create, extrusion, yeah, let's leave it at the desk, and let's turn on here wireframe, so I can see the position of these here shelves. So I'm just going to go here from this one, kind of like that, and then let me just align this thing and let me copy this all the way up, so just go copy once and twice. So we have these nice little tree shelves over here, and when I go here into level 1 and just hit finish, I'm just going to move them all the way back and kind of make them 
go inside of the table a bit just to give you a bit of headroom when you're working on your table so let me show you how this looks like in 3d so this is what you get and we can go into wireframe yeah and let's just join geometry over here to join all of this and then we can select all of it and add the material so for this I'm just going to search for some nice wood and I like this birch wood so I'm just going to load it in apply OK and for the rest of the elements I'm just going to use some white material so let me just search for something white and yeah let's do this clad go OK I know that's not the material for wood but who cares it looks nice Okay, so we have these shelves and let's add just a little nice architectural interior design detail over here. Just something holding these shelves in place. So I'm just going to go into level one and place a, let's go reference plane, place a reference plane kind of like this. And let's call it, I don't know, one. And now let's go here to east elevation and turn on wireframe. And now we can just create an extrusion that's placed on our reference plane number one. And let's go and create a rectangle kind of like this. Place it over here. Yeah, do it at two centimeters. And then let's do, let's do another line over here. Yeah, do it like this. Okay. And then let's just trim and extend and go finish and let's leave it at one centimeter and let's go into south elevation and you just go copy and you unconstrain it and then you can kind of copy it around. Let's do it like this. Yeah, this looks nice. And if we go into 3D, this is what you get. And let's choose some metal. So let's go and let's search for something dark like this iron yeah let's leave it at that and let's go continuing on let's place some other furniture over here or some other elements and for that we need families so let me just finish this model and let me go here to hidden line yeah so this is what we have this looks real nice and if we go here to realistic it looks like that so I really like the way this turned out. So we need to just add something to make it more alive. So I'm just going to move this to a side. And as you can see here, I've got a bunch of families and I'm just going to load them all in. So let me just slide them over. And now this will take a bit of time just as Revit needs to update all of these families. So let's give it a second. Okay. And I'll maximize screen, go into level one, and let's check out these components I've loaded in. So first, let's place a aluminum chair. So this is the Eames chair, my favorite chair of them all. And let's angle it kind of like that. And then you can select it. And here you can add material. So for the seat material, I want something white. So let me search. Yeah, let's do gypsum wallboard. Who cares? And for the metal material, let's find some chrome. So search Chrome, let's search for this one, go apply, OK. And then let's add some more components. So here I've got a book. So yeah, why not? Let's add a book over here and let's just go to South Elevation. And as you can see, the book is on the ground. Of course, books shouldn't be on the ground. So let's place it over here and let's copy it up. Kind of, I don't know, place it over here. Can attach it to that. And of course, double check everything in 3D just to see as you can see placement over here is wrong so I'm just going to use the arrow keys just to slide it on the shelf over here yeah that works okay let's add some more components so go back to level one component let's see what else we have we have this vertical book okay this is better so let's just place it kind of like that go to south elevation and again it's nowhere where books should be so it's on the ground and let's just copy it a bit so just go copy multiple and let's create a few books over here and then we can kind of copy this I don't know copy this upward place it here maybe delete one maybe add a few here just to make it 
like somebody actually lives and works here. So let's go back into level one. Let's add more components. Let's see here. I've got this is the light that I'm going to use. So let's place a light. So let's go to ceiling plan number one and go component. Where's our light? So this is the scent light. Yeah, let's use this one. And I'm just going to place three of these kind of like that. And if you can't see them, go to wireframe wireframe yeah and now you can see them so we can kind of place them a bit better up here so kind of like that this middle one should be yeah this looks nice and let's go into 3d and as you can see here we have our light up here and let's add we need some computer probably so let's see do we have a laptop so let's search for it yeah Microsoft Surface Book and let's place it here, kind of like that. Go component, see what else, pencil cup. Of course you need some pencils and you need to place them in a cup. And let's place this, I don't know, <laughs> over here. And let's go back into level one. Let's see what else we have. We have a potted plant, of course. So let's place a potted plant over here. So let me see if I go into 3D. Yeah, so we have this plant over here. It looks real nice. It makes everything look a lot better. And let, let's add something else. So let's add a cup here. So let's see, I think I have a cup family. Yeah, elegant, elegant cup. Of course, you need your cup to be quite elegant. So let's place it. Place it here. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this. Let me just go into level one and let me create a camera view. So just go camera and kind of place a view like this. Maybe orbit a bit down and then look, look a bit down, kind of like this. Yeah, and then we can maybe extend this a bit, kind of like that. Yeah, this looks nice. And as you can see now, I've added here a curtain. Now, I've already done a tutorial on how to create curtains in Revit, so that link will be in the description, so I'm not going to bother you with that in this tutorial. But now let's just see how this looks like in a rendering. So I'm just going to hit double R for render, go here and choose, let's choose medium, and here for the lighting scheme, I'm going to choose interior sun and artificial, and let's hit render. Okay, and this is what we get. Let me just adjust exposure to a bit darker. Yeah, something like that. And as you can see with this curtain, it looks nice. It kind of prevents too much sun from entering the room. But anyway, you get the point. So we have this interior design for a home office done all in Revit. I hope you have learned something new. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future tutorials, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.